Data Visualization Using Seaborn Seaborn is a well-known Python library for data visualization. It is built on Matplotlib. It offers a user-friendly interface for generating appealing charts with less code. Almost all kinds of charts can be generated using this powerful library. So, let's begin. If the Seaborn module is not already installed in your system, you may install this using the pip command, pip install Seaborn as shown on the screen. Seaborn installation is complete. Let's check the version for confirmation. The version is 0.13.0. For working with any visualization package, we need datasets that will be visualized. It is implied that we have the required dataset, and we want to visualize it. Seaborn comes with a bundle of datasets that we may use for learning visualization techniques. In the following examples, we will use few datasets available in Seaborn. So, let's find out what datasets are available in Seaborn. We will use the get underscore dataset underscore names function for this purpose. Let's run the code and check the output. So, these are the data sets that we may use for learning data visualization using Seaborn. In our first example, we will use the tips dataset. So, let's load it using the load underscore dataset function. Let's first view few top rows of the dataset. The various columns of the data frame are total underscore bill, tip, sex, smoker, day, time, and size. We may also see the columns using df.columns. Now let's check the shape of the data frame. As we can see, the data frame has 244 rows and 7 columns, and we already know the column names. We have got our data frame. Let's plot a simple graph using this dataset. Let's start with a very simple line plot. We will also use the matplotlib.pyplot plot here. So, let's import this module also. Let's plot a graph using Seaborn's line plot function. The line plot function accepts a number of arguments. Here we are using only the data, x, and y arguments. Let's view the graph using the plt.show function. And here is our graph. This is very basic graph. We can decorate this graph with various other parameters. Let's add a title to the graph. Now let's change the chart type to relative chart. The relplot function of Seaborn is used for this purpose. What we see on the screen is a relative plot where the tip amount against the total underscore bill amount is plotted. It is basically a scatter plot now. We can change the chart type using the kind parameter, the default type is scatter. Now let's change the chart type to line. So, using the relplot function, we can plot either a line chart or a scatter chart. Now let's explore a few other important parameters of the relplot function one by one. Let's divide the plot into two columns using the time values of dinner and lunch. The left-hand side column is for the lunchtime tips and the right-hand side column is for the dinnertime tips. Now let's change the hue based on the value of smoker or non-smoker. Now the blue dots represent the smokers, and the yellow dots represent the non-smokers. Let's change the marker styles based on the values of smoker or non-smoker. 
Observe carefully that the marker styles are changed now. The marker for the smokers is circular dots and the marker for the non-smokers are crosses. We may also change the sizes of the dots or the crosses using the size parameter. For the size parameter, we are using the size column of the data frame. Look, the size of the dots and crosses have increased proportionately to the tip sizes. Now let's change the chart type to line using the kind parameter and see how the chart looks. And the output is in accordance with the supplied arguments. The relplot function accepts a number of arguments and these are shown on the screen. We may use these parameters as per our needs. Let's apply a theme to the plot. Here we are setting the default theme using the set underscore theme function. Notice the gray background of the scatter plot. This is the default theme. We have already learned how to create scatter plot using the relplot function. Now we will use the lmplot function to enhance the scatter plot by including a linear regression model. In this example too, we are using the tips data frame. We are using the parameters data, x, y, call, and hue. Let's test the code. And here is the output. Look, the plot includes regression lines too in both columns. The left-hand side column is for the lunchtime tips and the right-hand side is for the dinnertime tips. Now we will use the displot function. The displot function is used for plotting distributions such as a histogram. Here we are using only three parameters, data, x, and call. The histogram for the total bill column is shown on the screen. The left-hand side is for the lunchtime total bill and the right-hand side is for the dinnertime total bill. We may also include the KDE parameter for displaying the kernel density estimation line. See, the kernel distribution estimation line is also drawn now. We may change the type of the distribution using the kind parameter. Here, the kind is set to ECDF, Empirical Commutative Distribution Function. Few additional parameters are also included for better presentation. Oh no, we should have removed the KDE parameter from here. This parameter is not applicable here. We may also change the appearance of the rug using the rug underscore KWS parameter. Now let's move to our next plot type, catplot, that is, plotting categorical data. Here the kind parameter is set to swarm. That is, here we will get a swam plot. Swarm plot plots every observations. And here is the swarm plot for various days. Now let's change the kind parameter to violin for creating a violin plot. We may also add the split parameter for splitting the violin. Now we will set the kind parameter to bar for plotting a bar plot.
Now let's plot a box plot using the box plot function. Our next plot is the count plot. It plots the count the values against the x parameter. In this graph, the counts for the male and female customers are plotted. Now we will learn the uses of the strip plot function. A strip plot is a single axis scatter plot that is used to visualize the distribution of many individual one dimensional values. Here is our first strip plot for the total bill column. The strip plot function accepts a number of arguments. Let's explore these one by one. Now we will learn the uses of the box and plot. Box and plot is used to draw an enhanced box plot. It is generally used for larger datasets. This function takes a number of parameters. Let's explore a few of them one by one. So far, in this lesson, we have learned a number of plot types using the Seaborn package. Seaborn is a huge package, it has many plotting functions with numerous parameters. Let me finish this lesson here, we will learn more about this package in our next lessons. Heat map, cluster map, facet grid, pair grid, pair plot, joint grid, joint plot, reg plot, etc. will be covered in our next lesson. That's all for today's lesson. 
If you find this lesson helpful, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your valuable feedback is important for me and will help me improve the contents of the channel. Thanks for watching up to the end. Hope to see you in the next, bye.